Hey y'all, it's Shiitake. How y'all been doing? I've been gone for a couple of weeks now since I put up my She-Hulk video, which is currently the most viewed video on my channel, so that's awesome to see. Thank you all for the support. Anywho, despite being a struggling college student, two weeks into the semester, maybe a computer science major and already getting my ass kicked by some assignments, a ray of sunshine and optimism managed to seep in through the cracks and enter my life. And that's been all the new Sonic Frontiers material that came out recently. They've been kicking the promotion for this game into high gear, showing off more of the story which looks gorgeous by the way. Love the voice acting from Roger here, a more serious take on Sonic. The animations and the cutscenes are very expressive and the lighting in some of these shots is beautiful. Additionally, I peeped that they updated the animations for at least some of Sonic's attacks. Take a look at this spinning air kick that Sonic does. This is from the IGN footage from a few months ago. Now look at the same attack from the most recent trailer released by Sega. The animations are just more explosive and colorful really giving a lot of life to the game. I've been pretty skeptical about this game for a while now, and I believe I have every right to be. Sonic Origins, Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sonic's recent record of video game fumbles has been undeniable. But this really does give me hope. The story is looking promising and the gameplay and visuals seem to be really good. I've tuned in to some discussions from people who've managed to get their hands on a demo of the game, and they've all said that they've been very pleasantly surprised. It's a nice turn of events if I'm being honest. I'm a fan of the blue blur and seeing him inching his way towards a win will always make me happy. Especially because the first gameplay showcases of the game left a lot of fans worried, including myself. I almost gave up completely on this game. But guess what Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers said about the build of this game that was being showed by IGN being an early build of the game, and not the final product. This is what the game looks like, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they're just loading things in the distance. I believe this is very early development footage at the moment, right? Like, obviously, the game is, the, the, like, the game is probably more finished than this is. This is like when you have to showcase a game, you show them, like, a, a several-month-old build that's functioning on actual products. I'm sure, like, right now, whatever they're developing is a few months ahead of whatever they're showing. And that's just, like, generally par for the course for any development I thought it was Copium, but so far it's looking like he might have been right all along. Anyways, the game has been on my wishlist on Steam for a while now, and given the recent news and the new screenshots coming out, I am seriously considering pre-ordering this game. And that is something I never do. Who knows, I might just pre-order it and do content on it when it comes out. I think that'd be pretty cool. This screenshot in particular, showcasing Sonic running on some highway, had me super intrigued. Speed Highway and Sonic Adventure and its reimagining in Sonic Generations are some of my favorite Sonic levels of all time. Apparently this is another Speed Highway reimagining, which I mean, not great in terms of originality, but I've always loved this aesthetic for, like, for a Sonic level, so I'm hoping they do it right a third time. Let me know what you guys think of this game, I'm definitely feeling a lot more hopeful, but I want to see what you guys think. And yeah, until next time I upload, see ya.